All right, people, welcome back to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Play. And so we're still playing Legacy of the Duelist. Last episode, we literally had our hand held. They were like, you don't know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Let me teach you how. Which I wish that we could skip the tutorial, but hey, that I mean, we have plenty of episodes for this series and many other Yu-Gi-Oh! series, so it's fine. Plays Yu-Gi, reverse Joey, they held my hand, and of course, I won. Why would you ever lose a scripted tutorial duel, right? So we're on to the next episode, which as you can clearly see by the silhouettes. Oh, it's so mysterious. Who the hell could that be? It's Pharaoh versus uh, Kaiba. So I, I forgot his name. A, a, a tomb or a tum or something like that? I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, I never finished watching the original Yu-Gi-Oh! Crucify me. So uh, we're going to go ahead and hop into it. So. Uh, more story, because of course you guys don't know the original Yu-Gi-Oh story, right? Alright, that afternoon, Yu-Gi and his friends went to Grandpa's game shop. I, I keep on wanting to say card shop. You call it a card shop, but I guess, I mean, it's not, you don't just assume that it's just purely cards. Like, it could be like a, I don't know, I don't know, your local game shop. But like I said, you don't call it a card shop, I don't know. Yu-Gi wanted to show his friends his Grandpa's prized possession. I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gramps, can you show my friends your super awesome chocolatey fudge covered super rare card? <laughs> rare card? You mean my special card? <laughs> his green card? His V card? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> well, that'd be weird if it was his V card. Like, how could his grandpa, like, okay, unless he donated the sperm or something, I don't know. Please, please. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> how can I refuse? So you guys want to see something special? <laughs> the kids are in for a treat. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't take this card out too often. I just replace card with, like, penis, and it's just a completely different context. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Children might watch this. this. My channel's not PG-13. It's really not just me being me. All right, so, sorry. <laughs> Ready? Here it is. It's the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Interesting card art, you know, the, the the updated card art with, of course, the stamp of the legacy, the duelist, seamless plug in your own. Like, I'm already playing the game, so, you, all right. So rare, so powerful. And I like how there's nothing, no description, no name, no nothing. All right. I never <laughs> let it leave my hands. Ever? Ever. It's always in his hand. All right. Like, maybe he's just speaking like... All right, well, it, I, I always have it around me, but never leaves your hands. All right, just taking a shit and then just like, oh, let me wipe my ass. Oh, wipe my ass with the blue eyes. <laughs> this is bad. I'm so bad. This is bad. All right, this card is priceless. Yeah, there's only four of them in all the world. I mean, maybe your world here. I mean, if there was only four of them in the entire world, that'd be kind of difficult to play blue eyes. You know, that, that top tier, tier one deck for like a couple months up, but only one player in prison can play it, so... All right, <laughs> suddenly, a classmate from school. Okay, so maybe Kaiba was in the same school? I don't remember that. All right, all right. His name is Seto Kaiba, the young CEO of Kaiba Corp. He's the CEO of a co company that makes tons of money. Why is he in school? Why didn't he just drop out and then run the company? Whatever. I found, <laughs> he had found the rare card he was looking for. All right, name your prize for that blue eyes white dragon. I can play anything you ask. Okay. He's super rich. Super rich. Clearly, he can pay anything. Why are you going to school? Like, if I was the CEO of a huge company, I don't need to finish high school. I'll drop out and then run my company. I'm making big bucks. I'm probably making more. And if I would have finished high school, went to college, and did all of that. So, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure you could. But this card is worth more to me than you could ever offer. Ever? Ever? Like millions and billions and trillions of dollars. Sure. All right, see that old fool. Kind of, kind of stormed out Grandpa's store. <laughs> the team, oh, so now we're a team? Was <laughs> disturbed by Kaiba's obsession with the Blue-Eyes White Dragon. I mean, the guy has a freaking jet of the Blue-Eyes White Dragon. You shouldn't be surprised, but all right. <laughs> the next day, when Yugi came back to the store with his friends, he found Grandpa was gone. When the phone rang, it was Kaiba on the other end, mocking Yugi that he, <laughs> he had kidnapped his grandfather and took him to Kaiba Court. All right, so, and, and I know it was going, I'm gonna go and... And, get Kaiba and, be, and confront Kaiba and be like, haha, you, you kids are my grandpa, I'm gonna get him back. Or you could just call the authorities. But maybe Kaiba is so rich that he controls the authorities, I don't know. But it seems like they didn't even consider, you know, like Kaiba just kidnapped a, a man for a piece of cardboard. Like, hey, it's a story. Gives more drama, right? You get his friends, rush to Kaiba Corp, and found the grandpa lying on the floor, defeated. Or beat up. I don't know. I don't know. Beat up the old people. Don't do that. I'm not condoning you beating up old people. <laughs> this is so bad. Grandpa, are you okay? Yugi, I failed. I wanted to teach that boy Kaiba a lesson about the heart of the cards, but I lost. 
Grandpa! <laughs> <laughs> how's, the, how's the old man feeling? <laughs> what did you do to him, Kaiba? Did you really defeat him? Yeah. Like, okay, all right. Kaiba, you sleaze. What have you done to him? <laughs> like, that's what I'm saying. We had a duel, that's all. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Did you duel him or did you do him, Kaiba? All right. <laughs> it sounds kind of similar, all right? <laughs> Which of us putting our most valuable card as the prize. But I guess playing against a champion like myself is too much stimulation for the old fool. Did you, did you really have to use the word stimulation? Like, okay, all right, all right. <laughs> Kaiba, you should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> Look at the sweet prize I won. Okay. <laughs> Kaiba had a grandpa's blue eyes on a dragon and ripped it in half. Okay. <laughs> Kaiba's most treasured card. Blue eyes, <laughs> blue eyes on a dragon is a rare and powerful card, and this one will never be used against me. Why four? That's such an odd number. I mean, I get it's an even number, but four. Like, four of anything is just weird. All right, sure. <laughs> my blue eyes are a dragon! My treasure! Grandpa, hold on! How could you do such a thing? Yugi, take this! Huh? Grandpa? I built this deck. I put my soul into these cards, and I taught you everything I know. Yugi, take my cards and teach Kaiba respect for the for the heart of the cards. Okay, Grandpa, I'll do it. <laughs> are you ready to play runt? Play time is over, Kaiba! Huh? Oh, oh, so you're not going to do a transition or scene like nothing, he just kind of turned into it. You'd be taken back by Yugi's sudden transformation. I was too, it kind of happened suddenly. I mean, of course, I'm not going to put the actual clip in, I would hella get in trouble for me too, but all right. <laughs> as soon as he had become a different person, as if he was more confident and powerful than before. <laughs> Kaido, prepare yourself, it's time to duel. My voice, my Yami Yugi voice is terrible. <laughs> uh, the story deck. <laughs> it has to be authentic. So I'm guessing I'm playing some kind of... Exodia deck, I'm assuming. Uh, scissors. Alright, cool. Awesome. So, is this pre or post? Do I get six cards? I may go first anyway, but I'm just wondering do, do I get six cards? If I get six cards, then of course, first all the time. So, pre roll, post roll, I'm not sure. Okay, awesome. Awesome. Dual draw card? Nope, nope. Wow, post rolls. Okay. Alright, well, I mean, I got Smash Steel, so that's nice, and uh, a piece of Exodia, awesome. Alright, so, uh, it's not tutorial, I can play by myself, this opening hand's not the greatest, I'll just set that, we got 2,000 booty, well, Kaiba doesn't summon a blue eyes white dragon, screw the rules, I have money. Battle Ox, okay. I mean, I got the Dark Hole, and I got the Snatch Steel, so, I mean, I can handle that. Wow, so, reflect damage, and that's an achievement progress, like, sure. Okay, I still have nothing. Like, I guess I could activate the Swords of Villain, like, set the piece of Exodia, and then, should we, but I'm, I'm guessing they want me to win with Exodia. I'm just guessing. So, uh, I mean, if this deck is what I'm thinking it is, because we're seeing a lot of normal monsters, I'm guessing it's kind of like a Heart of the Underdog draw a whole bunch of normal monsters, you know, get that. Oh, tributing already. All right. Yep. Judgment. And now I'm in trouble. <laughs> now I'm in trouble. Maybe I should have did the Swords of Villain white play. Ooh, Sangan. Pre errata, post errata. Oh, wow. It's, it's post errata, too. You can activate the card, you can activate one Sangan per turn. Wow. Okay. All right. Interesting. Uh, I'll go ahead and activate uh, Broken Ass Snatch Deal. Uh, totally deserves to be banned. Give me that. And then I will summon the Sangan and poke you. So, like I said, I'm assuming that you want me to win with Exodia, but I might be able to just win this duel. <laughs> so I just. Outplaying. <laughs> like, just damage. That'd be nice. Oh, wow. That's an achievement, too. Okay, sure. Sure. And it's going to pop up every time? That's going to get annoying. All right, I'm done. That's really going to get annoying. So you're going to hit me with a Dark Hole or a Geki? Because at this point, I mean, you're kind of behind, kind of. Kind of behind. Pretty much just made my damage that I did with Sand again. Pointless, but all right. <laughs> all right, another piece of... of so yeah, I said, I'm, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not going to win like you want me to win. I'm, 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 I, I'm really tempted to just set this lag. And then tribute those two next turn for Dark Magician. Like, I really am tempted to. And if he kills it, I mean, you just left the monster in attack position, which I, at this point, because I'm not going to let you tribute, so I'm going to keep killing your stuff, which means that you might not be able to do anything. Like, it's been a while since I played an Exodia deck. I played an Exodia deck when I was 13 years old. I remember my 13th birthday and had a Yu-Gi-Oh party, and I was playing an Exodia deck. Uh, wow, all right, so Wall of Illusions. Well, that sucks. <laughs> that sucks. All right. Ah. Uh, Probably should have attacked and then went into main phase and did my plays in main phase too. That sucks. So you know what? Now I'm gonna play Swords of Real and Light because I don't want you attacking my Exodia like <laughs> fucking left nipple of the Forbidden One. All right. So 
But that that wall, that wall, that sucks. That sucks. That bounced back, and he got his judgment back. So, don't think I can let him do that. Sure, again, them life points, Kaiba. I mean, it's an egg, the truth. <laughs> like life point gain cards are just so, ugh, you know, it's just, it's just an egg. Tribute tributes for the Dark Magician, yay! And I like how I have multiple sand games, so. I guess that's supposed to give me a piece of Exonia, but I just used one, so... I don't know. I Really, I just want to beat her, so sure, we'll get the Celtic Guardian, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go on the offensive. I'm not going to win this duel how they want me to. I know they want me to win with uh, with Exodia. And I mean, I had a similar deck on my 13th birthday, Heart of the Underdog. Um, this is where... Uh, was it Card of Safe Return? Is that the name of the card? And Carter Safe Return was still legal, and I did the Man of Court loop to draw. Like, I, I was sacky. And the Cali effect, he was there too. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. You guys didn't know. I actually known the Cali effect, the YouTube channel, for a long time. For those of you who came from the the You Get to a Draft League guest upload video, the Cali effect, I've known him for years. You know, I met him when I was like 12, because, you know, he's my, uh, he was at my 13th birthday party, and now I'm going on 2030. So, yeah, I've known the Cali effect for a cool minute now. All right, so some Dark Magician had the cool cutscene. Dark Magician, Dark Magic Attack. All right, I mean, Kaiba, Kaiba has the resources, just he can't really get anything. That's a problem with Yu-Gi-Oh! Back in this time. Oh wow, just draw all the thing. And I, I can't tell if it's scripted or not. I mean, I did search, but it's just like they really want me to win with Exodia, but I'm, I'm not winning with Exodia. Like screw that. I don't, I don't need to do it like the TV show. <laughs> Once you're not holding my hand, I'll just do my own thing. Wow, negate attack. Well, I was I was scared it was going to be a mirror force, but no, it's just negate attack. So they block the attack and ensure it's, oh, it's nice. It's a counter trap, awesome, but you neck. You know, if you gave it with a mirror force, ooh, that, that would have hurt. But sure, Kaiba, just you're just stalling at this point. You know, let's wrap this video up. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, if he was playing like the actual blue eyes deck deck, uh, he'd be crushing me right now. But I guess I'd get I'd be playing maybe the dark magician deck. I don't know. I don't know. I'm still just going to go on the offensive. I'm still going to say again, so even if that is a mirror force, I mean, I'm still get cards. I'm just so used to attacking with, like, the weakest monster. <laughs> it's like Gores. It's, it, it's just been ingrained to me because of Gores. Always attack up. <laughs> Always attack up. So, uh, you don't have much Kaiba. She had some kind of burn card. Burn you for 500. So, like I said, am I supposed to win with Exodia here? Would I still be a piece short? Even if I did do the slow route with this hand game? Like, okay, yep. All right, sure. Need to roll some of that blue eyes. Yep, yep, yep. Ow, and I take 2,000. Oh, ooh, blue eyes has a cutscene, too. Yep. Sure. All right, fine. I'll get a piece of Exodia like you want me to. Like, I guess that's the thing with saying game gets, you know... With its arrival, it comes off the ban list and then goes to three. It's like, okay, well, more Exodia, so. What the hell does this card do? During your opponent's next turn, after you have this card, your opponent cannot choose a battle position. Sure, sure, okay. Can't change your battle position, so you're like, oh, you can't, you can't go, yeah, so I can't go to defense, so I'm just gonna take the damage, but I still take the damage. There's my Heart of the Underdog, like, I thought I was supposed to be busting out Exodia with the Heart of the Underdog, draw normal, draw normal, draw normal, but nope. So, I guess I'll just hit you with a Dark Hole, and then, I would love to just kick you or hit you with a piece of Exodia, hit you with like Exodia's left nipple, but I don't know. I'll just saw some insane Gan and hit you, and then that's it, Kaiba. So, remember in the TV show where uh, Kaiba lost to uh, Sangan? <laughs> Game? Yep. Let's <laughs> fuck Exodia. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, it's not Exodia Obliterate, it's Sangan Obliterate. You play only for power, Kaiba, and that's why you lost. No, you lost because I sacked you with Dark Hole. <laughs> it's like Dark Hole, I hit you directly again. You know? That's why you lost. Because, I mean, that blue eyes, that would have been a threat if I didn't have the Dark Hole. So, mmm. <laughs> And he'd be, he'd be like, did you top deck that? And like, nah, I had it in my hand the entire duel, you know? I know you wanted to go ahead and drop that uh, Reflesia with that Dark Claw, and, <laughs> and I hit you with that Dark Hole, and you just shit yourself, so. <laughs> That's why you lost. <laughs> but if you put your heart in the game, there's nothing you can't do. Uh, I wouldn't say it's the heart of the cards. I mean, I just 
shuffled, he cut, and I just just ruins it opening a hand that won me the game. So I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> the ruts of duel spread quickly, and a mysterious one-eyed man gets news of Yuki's victory. Mmm, <laughs> Kaba Boy. Mmm, <laughs> it seems like Kaba Boy <laughs> has been defeated in a duel. I must learn more about this Yuki Moto. <laughs> okay. All right, skip. Wait, do I actually have to hit like the third button? Yeah. Oh, all right. Sure. Like what? Okay. Like the controls. Like why three? All right. Sure. All right. Uh huh. All right. And then next, I will be dueling against. What was his name? I forgot the the name of this character. Weevil. Weevil. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, all right, all right, all right. I'm guessing this exclamation point. Yeah, I can reverse duel. All right. So I, I can play Kaiba and duel against. Yugi, but no, we're not We're not going to be doing any of that. This series is going to be long enough. So, we're going to be dueling with the Pharaoh, dueling against Weevil and his... The ultimate grief mod, which is one of the worst <coughs> Yu-Gi-Oh plays in Yu-Gi-Oh. It's an egg, and it takes forever to pull out, and... Alright, alright. So, we'll be doing that next episode of this Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Plays on uh, Legacy of the Door. So, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm, I'm done recording for now. Like I said, I recorded in a session. I recorded a Tuesday video. This is Thursday's video. So, um, if you guys have any suggestions or anything along those lines, now I will be able to respond accordingly. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell for notifications. We'll be back next Tuesday with some more Legacy of Duels. Like I said, this is going to be going on until the end of Duels Kingdom, and then we'll play some uh, a different Yu-Gi-Oh! series, which at this point I'm thinking about doing duels with the roses. So, nice watch, thanks for all the support, and uh, yeah, see you guys next time.